Welcome everybody to top five classes in Modern Warfare. These are the classes I've used that I have <coughs> grinded my way up to 155 with. So starting off with the Stygian, 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 Stygian. Um, P90 variant, essentially a muzzle compensator, 5MW laser. Um, I did add the stippled grip tape and FSS ring sights. Uh, super fast, lots of ammo, you move quick with it, it has a lot of power, the recoil is slim to nothing, so super fast gun, kills quick. Secondly, um, I'm biased to the Desert Eagle, judge me, 50 GS, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm biased it, I think it's the best pistol in the game. Uh, even over the 357, 357 is too slow, it feels too clunky for me, so I can't, ah, I can't, can't get behind that. Um, so, yeah, basically monochromatic. Um, I usually don't run really anything on this. Recoil control, that helps. Um, if I do, it's usually lightweight trigger, extended mag, and maybe a laser, if that, but um, that's about it. So, next we have the perks. Um, this is a Russian class, SMG, you're going to be moving around a lot, um, running into claymores. Um, proximity mines, C4s, all that stuff. So EOD helps. Um, you can live through Claymore and some C4 and you can live through a lot of stuff. Everybody knows EOD is overpowered, so it's good for rushing. Um, secondly, Hardline. Um, this is really fun to use on shipment. Basically, self-explanatory, one less cost to kill. You know what I mean? You get um, VTOL, one less, super easy. Streak up, it's a fun time. Uh, Stratmore. Shrapnel is probably my favorite third perk. Um, I don't really use anything else. Um, Battle Harden, I guess. I'd, I'd put it Shrapnel above Battle Harden. Um, so just because that second aid kind of helps. It can be make or break between a streak or winning a game or a round. Uh, it's good for OBJ, uh, OBJ type games. Aiding people off flags, bomb sites, etc., etc. Um, then Simtex. I uh, usually always run Simtex. Probably there's going to be a trend with the Simtexes. Um, I just like them to stick. I don't like grenades. They bounce around too much. Um, I want my explosive to go and explode where I want it to. <laughs> um, and then lastly, Stim. Uh, Stim is by far my favorite tactical in the game. Um, refreshes your health, refreshes your sprint. It's fantastic, it's quick, it's easy, you can still shoot while you use it, it's awesome. So, secondly, we have the Ram 7, and the Ram 7 is by far my favorite gun in the end. Out of, it's hands down best AR, to me personally. Um, statistically, I can't prove that, but to me, it's amazing, it's fast, it's powerful. Um, it's like an M4 on steroids, but quicker. Um, so yeah, uh, Stick Talk, my own variant. It has FTEC 13 and a half inch compact barrel. Um, there's a trend with my classes. Uh, I like aimed on sight speed, essentially. I like to be able to snap between kills really fast and it makes my life a whole lot easier. Sprint to fire speed's pretty important as well. You know, it, it make or break kind of thing. You know, if that one dude can get off a shot faster than you, then you, you know how it goes. So, well, like I was saying, 13 and a half compact barrel. Um, there is really, it says there's cons with velocity and recoil control. Um, I haven't noticed anything too crazy with the recoil with it jumping around. I mean, it's kind of wild, but it's it's pretty controlled. You know, it's it it does its own. Um, even on higher sensitivities, when I was playing on 16 to 20, it was fine. It ran fine even from map uh, like Shoe House, for instance, the wall to wall kind of spawn shot. I guess you could dub it. It ran fine all day long. Ran fine. So, the next we have Commando foregrip. I think. I love the commando foregrip, um, movement speed doesn't really hinder it at all, and you get some pretty good stabilization and stability from it. Um, I guess it's really biased on what you guns you guys use and how you guys play, but commando foregrip over the Merc, the, the Ranger, Operator, all that. Um, and then rear grip, like I said, ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, I'm all about it. Stippled grip, you already know. Um, XRK close quarters stock, again, ADS speed, uh, not really much much of a loss on aiming stability. 
And then perks, um, it depends. If I play hardcore, I switch to slide of hand with the Ram 7, but if I'm playing regular core, then I usually run FMJ. Just because people hide behind stuff, you gotta bust them out real quick. And then the secondary weapon to the Ram is the Impossible Task. The Impossible Task. X16. Um, it's Glock, basically. It's Glock. That's how I look at it. That's how uh, it plays for me. It's just a Glock. Um, but the X16, Impossible Task, has the Vanguard Elite. Get better range, bullet velocity, bullet velocity and recoil control. Um, I always, besides like the 50 caliber Deagle and the Magnum, um, these lighter kind of small arms pistols, I guess you could say, um, are weak. Are pretty weak, you know what I mean? You have to hit people a good few times, so just giving that little extra um, from the range helps out a lot. And then uh, it was, I left my money on just from finishing off these pistols, getting them platinum, but if I was running it, then um, it really depends. Um, my money, really fun for hardcore. I'm sure you guys know hardcore is the way to go for pistols. Um, I'll make another video on that and helping people out, uh, making your life easier getting platinum camos for stuff, essentially. But um, slide of hand is really good to run with pistols, especially on hardcore. It is a freaking blast. But if you were on regular core, probably FMJ, I'd say it'd be the best bet. And then, you know, you can go on to like a 26 round mat. Like, that's ridiculous. Just look at this thing. Like, 26 rounds. You're, 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 you're going to kill somebody with that. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's pretty fun to use. Like I said, small maps, it depends. Um, fire rate, I'm all for fire rate on every single pistol. Lightweight trigger, lightweight trigger, lightweight trigger, lightweight trigger till I die. Um, and then, of course, going on to the perks, we have, again, EOD. Because um, the Rams, it's weird. It's like a limbo AR SMG kind of thing, so you're, you move pretty quick with it. So the rushing, it's not that bad. Um, EOD, again, you guys already know, hardline. Same premise, really. This is basically the three perks I run on every single class, except for a couple coming up. Bringing on... Um, which leads me to the Simtex and Stim. Kind of same combo right there. Fast, lightweight, easy. You can heal up, get streaks quicker, get double nades. It's a win-win. So, moving on to the AX-50. Um, sniper class, of course. I come from COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, World at War kind of thing. So, ADS speed is crucial. I love sniping. This game is fantastic for sniping. Um, leading me to the 17 inch factory barrel, tack laser of course, ADS speed, ADS speed, movement speed, stock, Syngard, arms, assassin, ADS speed again, rear grip, ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, stippled grip, you already know, and then slide of hand to kind of make it feel like slide of hand pro from MW2. That is my reasoning. This class is fantastic. It's about a guaranteed one shot. Uh, it's not really inconsistent for me. Other people say otherwise, so I guess it's hit or miss. Um, aim high, never die. Uh, of course, gotta rip that gold. Um, same thing. Um, you guys know, love the Deagle. It's mono monochromatic, uh, platinum. Like I'd say, I'd throw a lightweight on, maybe 13 round, you know, depending on what mode I'm playing. Um, but with the sniper uh, class, the perks do switch between my regular rush class to the sniper class. Essentially scavenger, resupply ammo from dead players. Um, it's fantastic, especially sniping, you know what I mean? You three clips, five bullets, boom, boom, boom. You know, you, you're shooting a lot, you know. So scavenger, it's good to refill ammo, especially in pistols. That bolt kind of pistol combo is good to have. Um, ghost. Since you're sniping, you know what I mean? You're not really... I mean, I guess you could rush. I say ADS speed and everything's equipped. But, um... Ghost is good for me sniping. Just kind of helps you stay out of the... Stays low-key, I guess. I could say. And then, shrapnel. Of course, double nades. Explosives delay enemy health. Uh, I like running frags on this. That's because you move a lot when you're sniping. You know, you move a ton. So, it's, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Um... Flash grenades, it depends. I was using this class on shipment, so I was running flash, but if I use it on any other map, it would be stem. I don't mess with anything else, really. Except gas grenade, that's pretty legit. 
So, moving on to a personal hardcore favorite class of mine is the AK-47. This thing is a one-tap with my class setup. I don't know if they've nerfed it, buffed it, anything like that since the new update came out with the pack 2, but this thing is ridiculous. One-tap, play hardcore, it's ridiculous. It, it's a monster, level it up really fast. So, starting off the barrel, we have the Spetsnaz Elite Damage Rain Bullage Velocity. ADS is a con, but uh, don't really notice it that much. AK is kind of heavy, it's kind of slow anyways, so... Moving on to the stock, FSS, close quarters again, ADS speed. Kind of bounces out the AK with how heavy it is. Mo mobility's not that great, but, you know, every little bit helps. Same thing, commando foregrip. Uh, this thing jumps a lot. You know anything about guns, AK has extremely amounts, big amounts of recoil. So, uh, any kind of grip helps, honestly. Any grip to help with recoil, control, anything, 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 anything. Um... Same thing, stippled grip, ADS, sprint to fire, slot of hand, just because you'll burn through rounds pretty quick um, on the core, but uh, like I said, hardcore is usually a one tap. This thing's a beast. I love this. This is my second. Before they came up the Ram 7, this was my gun. This was my favorite gun in the game, hands down. Hands, no questions asked. Um, moving on, like I said, it's a hardcore class, so M19. Um... I usually just run a silencer on these, like I said, you know what I mean? Uh, lightweight trigger, big mag, aim fast. That's <laughs> that's basically my selling point. Though extend it on there if you want a little bit more range. But, um, yeah, that's, I mean, pistols are pretty straightforward with me. I don't really use them that much, but at least not anymore after going, getting them platinum. Um, and then, of course, like I said, Cold-blooded AI targeting system, thermal optics. Uh, a lot of people use that stuff. I've noticed in hardcore, so cold-blooded is good to run. Restock. Um, you can recharge your equipment over 30 seconds. Uh, hardcore for me depends what kind of map it is. Um, it's you know it's hit or miss. A lot of people camp, so I like to have nades. So if I can just kind of run around the map, kind of recharge a nade or so, it's pretty fun. Uh, it's easier to switch between restock and ghost. Are these two hardcore? perks I use. And then lastly, there was, I don't know why Amped is on this class, but probably Battle Harden, I'd have to say, for my AK class. Uh, just because a lot of people stun non-stop in hardcore. If you play shipment 24-7 on hardcore, you understand. Um, and then of course grenades, you know what I'm saying. Grenades and Simtex, I love. They're fun. They're easy to use. Almost guarantee a kill if nobody's using EOD. And then gas grenades, hardcore, um, it slows them down, they cough, you know, it kind of hurts them a little bit, helps you finish off a kill. And then lastly, number five is going to be the Spec Ops class. Um, it is ridiculous. Uh, we ran through every single Spec Ops mission, essentially with these kind of class setups. So starting off with, um, I like to use PKM, wrong turn uh, variant, LMG, 150 round belt. Lots of ads in the Spec Ops. Uh, like the VLK Russian site, it is one of my favorite, I guess you could dub ACOG sites, um, on the game. And then a compact barrel kind of help you move a little bit better. Not much. You know, it's a LMG. They're heavy, but any, any little bit helps. Um, and then coming up is the overkill slash riot shield thing. This riot shield is ridiculous. It will save you so much in Spec Ops. It is unbelievable. Throw it on your back. Look up, run, it's fantastic. Flex bullets, you can hide in the corner, regain your health kind of thing. Um, they can't break it, they can't break through the shield, so it's good for back protection. If you run into an objective on Spec Ops or anything like that, um, it's fantastic. I love it. It's great. It's it's weird little cheese hack, cheat the system kind of thing that we figured out. So, yeah, definitely, if you're doing Spec Ops, I recommend Overkill, Riot Shield, with anything. Um, and then Resnook, of course. You're spending a lot of time out there in Spec Ops doing those missions and uh, operations, so recharging your equipment is amazing. Um, and then tune-up time, reduce the charge time with field grades by 33%. That is fantastic. I recommend everybody use that. You know I'm saying? If you're using um, stopping power rounds or team armor, stuff like that, it's great. Um, and then lethal, of course, frag grenades. Uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ads that spawn up in hard, uh, Spec Ops, so anything lethal like that is good. Then stem. Um, Spec Ops gets really, really tricky. It is dangerous. There's, it's ch extremely challenging to me. So, stem is the way to go. Um, but yeah, 
these are the top five classes that I'd say I'd have to run around with um, if there wasn't, you know, if I had to pick like end all be all, you know what I mean? These are the things to use. So, like I said, Stidian, um, P90, RAM, AX50, AK47, wrong turn, which is PKM, uh, and then that's Riot Shield, M19, Desert Eagle, X16, essentially the Glock, and then Desert Eagle again, um, Mantrend, EOD, Shrapnel, Sims, stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, I appreciate everybody stopping by the video. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any video suggestions, thank you. Peace.